Hello everyone, welcome back to Adra's Easy Talks. So, as usual, I am back with VHC English Revision Class Series. Uh, already, I have uh, talked about Module 1. I have covered uh, topics from Module 1 in three videos. Our video is link in the description box. So, today I am back with Module 2. In this single video, I am planning to cover the whole syllabus, whole topics from this Module 2 session. So, if you are watching my channel, for the first time if you like my channel please do share subscribe and click the bell icon to get more updates from my channel so without wasting much time let's move on to today's topics beowulf so the author is anonymous and also it is said that it's an anglo-saxon poet so it is an england's oldest extant national epic it is written between eight and 11th century it contains 300 uh, sorry 3182 lines the language in which it is written is in west saxon dialect the poem's setting is scandinavia present sweden denmark and norway the subject is the battle of beowulf a hero of geats or geatland the protagonist is beowulf the poem is survived in the manuscript Nova, uh, known as Novel Codex or Cotton Vitalius in the British Museum. There are mainly three battles in the poem. The notable characters include Beowulf, Hrothgar, Grendel, Grendel's mother, Dragon, Wiglaf, Isk, transla translated by Seamus Heaney in 1999. This topic in a detailed video class already changed. That's the link in the description box. Then ballads. Here topic uh, class detailed class of Chavi Tunda. Adin the lingam tari description box look at collection relics of Asian ancient English poetry by Bishop Percy. English and Scottish popular ballads by Francis J. Child, which is published in 1857. Talking about Sir Patrick Spence, it is the most popular child ballad in number 58 round 41. Scottish in origin, it is a maritime ballad about disaster at sea. 4343 metric pattern then it is written in couplet with refrain in alternative lines talking about chevy chase it is one of the oldest of the english ballads probably dates in its primitive form from the 15th century it was written in 68 stanzas it is cataloged as child ballad 162 round to 223 Chase means hunting of animals for sport. There are two extant ballads. Both were collected in Thomas Percy's Relics and the first of the ballad in Francis James Child's, Child's Ballads. Different versions were collected in England, Scotland and US. The first of the two ballads of Chevy Chase was perhaps written as early as 1430s but the earliest record we have of it is the complaint of Scotland, one of the first printed books in Middle Scots. The complaint of Scotland was printed in around 1549 and in it the ballad is called The Hunting of Cheviot. But the first manuscript version of ballad was written in 15th century. The Canterbury Tales Based on Boccaccio's Decameron, in April 29 pilgrims met at Tabad in Southwark 31 including poet and Harry Bailey. There are 24 stories in the book. Chaucer tells two tales, that is the tales of Sir Topaz and tale of Melibius, which are the prose tales. Then it begins with Knight's Tale and ends with Parson's Tale, written in heroic couplet, decasyllabic couplet. Then name of Plato is mentioned in the prologue. After the prologue begins the pilgrim's tale and it, it starts with the knight's tale. Cax, Caxton published the first printed version of poem in 1477. It described the physiognomy of each character. The pilgrims represent people of all ranks from knight to plowman. The host suggests all the pilgrims to tell two tales on the way to Canterbury and two on the way back to Canterbury and two on the way by each pilgrim in total should have to say four tales. 
the host proclaims that the best storyteller will get a supper, a free meal at the Tabard Inn by the other pilgrims. But Chaucer finished only 20 tales and left four tales partly complete. Cook, Squire, Monk, Chaucer's own tale of Satopas. So these are the incomplete tales. The host himself become the judge of the storytelling context. The first and the longest tale is Knights. The last is Parsons' tale. The second tale is Miller. The third is Shreve's tale. Only Chaucer tell two tales. That is the tale of Sir Topas and tale of Melibi. The three women among the pilgrims include Prioress. First nun, the second nun, Prioress Secretary and wife of Pat. Three in military profession include Knight, Squire and the Knight Seoman. Then eight ecclesiastical characters. Prioress, second nun, nun priest, monk, prior, summoner, partner and parson. Then prologue has 858 lines and the poem has 17,000 lines. The Spanish tragedy or Hieronimo is mad again. It was written by Thomas Kitt, written between 1582 to 1589. The first performance uh, is at late 1580s. Then setting is in Spain after the victorious battle of Spain over Portugal. Then it has four acts. The theme is love, deceit, revenge, tragedy, mortality, insight, love and delay of justice. The major characters include Hieronimo, Isabella, Horatio, Don Cyprian, then Bellimbiria, Lorenzo, Don Balthasar, then Don Andrea, ambassadors of Portugal. The minor characters include Jerome, Christophil, Pedrigano, Severin, then Alexandro, Bilupo and Vesulto. Characters in play within the play include Solomon, then Erasto, Preside, and the Pacha. Epithalamine. Epithalamine is a song or poem written especially for a bride on her way to the marital chamber. The poem was written by Edmund Spencer and was published in 1595 in London by William Ponsby as part of the volume entitled Amority and Epithalamine, written long, long since by Spencer. Poem in 24 stanzas about the poet's wedding to one Elizabeth Boyle. The wedding year is 1594 and Spencer meticulously records the hour of the day from before dawn to late into the wedding night. Its 24 stanza represents the 24 hours of midsummer day. The poem of 433 iambic lines of varying length divided into 23 stanzas and an envoy, 24 sessions in all. Lit title literally at the nuptial chamber from the Greek. To his coy mistress by Andrew Marvel is a cavalier poem. It is posthumously published in 1681. It follows the Capadian philosophy. It's a Capadian poem. It has 46 lines. The poem has three parts. It is in the structure of syllogism. The first part, the first 20 lines contain the first proposition. The second part, next 12 lines states the second proposition. And the third part, the conclusion part, draw from these two propositions in the remaining lines. The two poets challenge this poem. Number one is Annie Finch. His poem, uh, sorry, her poem, The Koi Mistress, suggests that poetry is more fitting use of their time than lovemaking. Then Eddie Hobbs, his Koi Mistress to Mr. Marvel, turns down the offered seduction outright. The structure of the poem is written in, uh, it is written in iambic tetrameter and rhymes in couplet. The School for Scandal, it is premiered on May 8, 1777. First staged was at Darry Lane Theatre. Uh, the genre is Comedy of Manners. It is published in 1718. The play satirizes the behavior and customs of the upper class with dialogues. The setting is at London in 1770. The theme is hypocrisy, defamation of characters and the play is in five acts. The protagonist of the play is Charles Surface and the characters include Joseph Surface, Charles Surface, Sir Oliver Surface, Sir Peter Tissil, Lady Tissil, Maria, Lady Snavel, Mrs. Cando, Snake, Moses, Stanley, and Premium. And this play, The School for Scandal, is written by Sheridan. 
Richard Sheridan. Utopia. It was originally written in 1516 in Latin. This published in 1516 in Louvain, that is the present Belgium. The book in two parts. It has eight chapters. The subtitle is Novaland. The narrator is Ralph Hitelde, means talker of nonsense. He got the idea from Plato's Republic. The genre is uh, the genre is social political satire. And it is a satire indirectly criticizing Europe's political corruption and religious hypocrisy. It is a description of an ideal human society in the imaginary island of Utopia. So if you could read it, please read the book's title in Latin. And it translates like a truly golden little book, no less beneficial than entertaining, of a republic's best state and of new island Utopia. The characters include Thomas More, Peter Gills, Ralph Whittleday, then Utopist. The themes include travel, discovery and place, crime and punishment, bad, bad governance and pride and idleness. The next one, Pamela. It's an epistolary novel in two volumes. Full title, Pamela or Virtue Rewarded. The first, it's the first true English novel. Forms part of conduct literature and it employs psychological realism. The 32 letters out of which two are written by Mr. B in the novel. Pamela wrote her journal from 6th day of imprisonment to the 10th day of freedom. She had 40 days of imprisonment and the protagonist is Pamela Andrews. The characters include Pamela, Mr. B, Lady Davis, Lady, Lady B, Mrs. Hughes, Mrs. Jervis, Mr. John Andrews, Mrs. Elizabeth Andrews, Major Colbrand, Jackie, Deck Warden, John Arnoldo, then Mr. Longman, Mr. Jonathan Nan, Sally Godfrey, Miss Godwin, a gypsy fortune teller. And Pamela is written by, of course, it's, uh, of course, all know that it is written by Samuel Richardson. Then Robinson Crusoe, which was published in 1719, written by Daniel Defoe, often known as the first fiction. Its full title is Life and Strange Surprising Adventures of Robinson Crusoe. It is based on the true story of a shipwrecked sea seaman called Alexander Selkirk. Uh, in the novel, you have two women characters. Then uh, the setting is an un uninhabited island in the coast situated off the South American coast in the 17th century. The next is Tom Jones, written by Henry Fielding. It is a comic epic romance, uh, Bildung's Roman in genre. Then the full title is The History of Tom Jones, a Fondling. Uh, the novel dedicated to George Littleton. It's a picaresque novel in 18 books. It is published in 1749. The narrator is uh, anonymous or essentially omniscient. Then 1745, Jacobite Rebellion could be seen in the background of the novel. The protagonist is Tom Jones and the characters include Tom Jones, Sophia Western, Squire Alworthy, Buster Bliffle, then Squire Western, Mrs. Western, Patrick, Jenny Jones, Bridget Alworthy, Lady Bellaston, Captain Bliffle, Harriet uh, Fitzpatrick, then Mr. Fitzpatrick, Mr. Browling, Mrs. Uh, Miller, Nightingale, Lord Falama, Squire, Tuakam, Molly Segrin, then Black George, Nan Nancy Miller. Then uh, the theme is the virtue as action rather than thought. So, this uh, is the second module to cover the topics. We are going to talk about the main points in the main item. So, let's go to the next class, module 3. Thank you.